Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Stocks app on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now it's a default built-in app that comes pre-installed on your iPhone, but if you don't already have it on there, just open up the app store here and let's just search for Stocks. And you can see it pops up right there. This is the one that is default built by Apple. Now that we've done that and installed it, we can open it up and I'll navigate you through everything on here. So you can see at the very top, it shows home screen, some different stocks here, and at the very bottom, it shows news. I can always toggle this up and read specific news. Oftentimes this will have top stories. In addition to, it will show you news of various stock tickers that you've added to the app. So you can see on here, Apple, and Microsoft and Google, all three on here. So that will change depending on which stocks you have on your kind of watch list. Now you have a couple different options. You can see at the top left home screen here, I can tap on it and I can choose different watch lists, essentially different lists of various stocks. If you have some that are say in the energy sector, some that are in the technology sector, you can always change those around and switch from various ones just like that. Now you can tap on the three dots at the top right here and you can hit this edit watch list. You can hit show currency if you would prefer to show that dollar sign or not. You can also on here sort this watch list by manually price change, percentage change, market cap, symbol name. And then you can always hit this watch list will always show. And then I usually choose this percentage change, but you can choose market cap, any of those things. Now, if you wanted to quickly toggle between those things, you can see that little green square. I can tap on it and it will show the difference in the market cap, percent, all that stuff. Now, on any of these different stocks, you can always just add a new one just type by tapping search here. And let's say I want to add NVIDIA. I'm going to tap the little plus right next to it. And just like that, I've added it to this list. I can always tap on it and it gives me some interesting information. It shows the current price. On here, I can see the ticker symbol. I can choose the last day all the way up to all, which will show me the entire length of that specific stock. So if I scroll all the way back here, let's find the very first entry, February 1st, 1999. So you can see I can go through here, right under there shows the trading volume, right under there, those little bar graphs. And you can see here the open number, high number, the volume, the price per earnings, the market cap, the 52 week high, the 52 week low, all of that stuff. And then of course, at the bottom, you can see various information regarding the specific stock news. So you can see all of these different articles on there. Now, another cool thing is let's go to, I think it was, let's see, Apple. Here you can see an earnings report is coming up soon on November 2nd. You can just tap to add it to your calendar if you wanted to automatically get a notification when their earnings report comes out. But otherwise, this is a great opportunity to basically customize the exact sticker symbols, the stocks that you want to see, and to be able to check on them regularly. Of course, you can always add this to your lock screen, to your home screen widgets as well, if you wanted to get a better sense of this and not have to open up the app specifically. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.